what, what is the potential payoff from genomics uh, for, for understanding racial differences in, in breast cancer and other cancers and, and addressing cancer issues yeah. globally? We actually don't have to go outside of this country to see the global uh, citizens that are in New York. And uh, so when we uh, you know, started working in breast cancer families, you know, we had families on the south side of Chicago that no one had ever even thought about them as participating in research because they're underserved and minority. And so we started studying BRCA1 in African American families. And the more we studied African American families, the more we realized that in fact BRCA1 is not, you know, only for women of European ancestry. You know, when you ask Mary Claire how many, what's the proportion of women with breast cancer who have uh, BRCA1 and 2 mutation, we did a, 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 some work in Nigeria and clearly 11% of young women who were walking into a hospital diagnosed with breast cancer had BRCA1 and 2 mutation. 11%. It's 11%. So much twice as many as the 5% estimates that we talk and about here. That when we get all the genes right um, and then when we look at all the genes so what we know is that when you have young onset breast cancer there's going to be an enrichment for genetics that's why I'm going around the world saying we have to leapfrog right we can't wait 40 years for developing countries to catch up on genomics and genetics research you know Mexico now has a genome uh, uh, project because they know that they're not going to be able to take care of their citizens without understanding and benefiting from the genomic revolution. And that's what really every country needs to do. Because we realize that this is the, the truth. 90% of scientific discoveries, right, stays in the north, you know, Western Europe and northern countries, right? 10% of uh, the people who need drugs live in the north, right? The rest of the global south, right? Asian, you know, Latin America, billions of people who need drugs, who need to, the diseases studied, aren't getting studied because we're so focused on selling everything to 10% of the world. So I think if we really stand in solidarity and we look at our genome as the genome of the entire world, right? then the genome science has to really benefit everybody. That's when you're thinking about social justice, equity, and the benefit of genome science should be for all.